Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our chest, a little bit of calf work and core work too. I made slight change in my workout routine. It's been a couple of months I have been following the previous routine and it has given me great amount of results. I'm going to focus a little bit on more on my core strength and also I need more progress on my calf muscle. So I'm going to make sure that I work on them on regular basis going forward. So accordingly, I have adjusted my routine a little bit. So as usual, but the beginning of the workout wouldn't change. That would be the pre-workout routine of dynamic stretching, the greatest stretch, five rotations each side, followed by a deep squat. Hardly takes a couple of minutes. Just gets you all warmed up. And also a little bit of mobility drill to make sure you don't have any kind of major restrictions during your weightlifting sessions. Of course, we are going to still continue to do the warm-up sets of exercises which we are going to perform at least a couple of them again with 10 to 15 repetitions each set. So for the first exercise post the dynamic stretching routine, I'm going to start with incline bench press on Smith machine. The reason why I chose to do it on a Smith machine is because I was feeling a little bit of discomfort in my shoulder while lifting free weights. So a fixed path would be slightly helpful and also the Smith machine which I have in my gym has a slanting uh, positioning. Basically the bar moves from my chest to slightly above my nose position because of the slant which is provided in the Smith. So pretty much if not pretty close to natural range of motion. As usual we are going to perform full range of motion repetitions, two warm-up sets, four working sets, 15 repetitions each set, slow and steady, go completely deep, touch the bar on your chest and from there push up all the way using your chest alone. Yes, that's consciously we are trying to involve our chest a lot. Yes, our shoulders will jump in but let's try to put our chest as much forward as possible. The next exercise is Three sets, 20 repetitions of cable crossovers from top down positioning and here you can see the range of motion gives me a good amount of contraction and stretch. So my chest muscles are going through complete adduction. Remember adduction, the motion of getting your arms towards the midline of your body. Uh, body. Uh, it could be also your legs, basically your limbs moving towards the midline of your body is the adduction abduction is them moving away from your body so your chest muscles they do adduction so getting your arms towards the midline of the body or across the midline of your body make sure the cable remains always in line with your elbows that helps in terms of keeping the oh i would say the cable path as good as possible in terms of getting a good amount of adduction take your arms across go with the slow and steady repetition or uh, tempo of every repetition. Now post completing these, I moved on to calf raises. Now straight leg calf raises. So on a leg press machine, you can also do standing calf raises. You can also do seated calf raises. It's your choice. The reason why I do calf raises or why I chose to include calf raises on a regular basis is because I need to work on them in terms of getting them as good as the rest of my body is in terms of a little bit of volume and size you might have really good calf muscles so you can definitely skip this but there is no harm in working out your calf muscles on a regular basis for one exercise three sets 20 to 30 repetitions in a controlled manner still good there's a lot of goodness to that so yes calf work again seated Standing, absolutely your choice. You can do the similar leg press on a leg press machine with knees completely locked out. Absolutely fine. I chose to do three sets of these, as many repetitions as possible, each set with 45 to 60 seconds break in between. Post completing those, I decided to do a plank on a Bosu ball setup. The reason why I chose Bosu ball is because it creates a little bit of instability at my elbow space and also it's soft to keep my elbows on so my elbows don't hurt but that is not the actual reason the little bit of instability causes a little bit more challenge in terms of stabilizing myself and keeping my core tight 
you can also as you can see i'm using the half bosu ball so a little bit of less challenge so you can start at this point and move on to a full bosu ball you can also do a regular plank for one minute and that should be also absolutely fine but regular plank isolation exercise to build muscle not much of uh, i would say strength or volume gain adding a little bit of instability or movement can challenge you a little bit more so definitely do try that out if you're not able to hold it for one minute you can also do 30 seconds couple uh, two times or three times i did one minute twice and to start off with good to start with that i could do more but i timed myself to one minute so i don't want to push myself and get tired or by any reason cause any kind of cramps because one of the areas i most easily cramp is my abdominal region when i work on them or stress them much the next exercise i chose to do for my core work is ab roller and as you can see my knees on a soft cushiony surface i try not to take my hips any much uh, i would say as i try to keep my hips as straight in line as possible they don't go completely back i try to crunch really hard at my abdominal region here you can see get my hips to a ray, uh, particular place and then uh, here i'm sorry this repetition is the wrong example because i lost my grip so i had to reposition myself but go down slowly control the rep stay there for a second and then come back up slowly crunch at your abdomen don't take your hips back completely from there go back again so the slower you do the more challenging it is the farther you go the more challenging it is that's the part where your core gets most challenged the crunch yes definitely develops the muscles but focus more on the stretch and the slight bit of tempo control as much as you can do if you're not able to do this absolutely fine you can do a regular crunches that's up to you but i chose this particular exercise after completing those i moved on to a flat bench press wherein i did dumbbell presses four sets 20 repetitions with a slightly moderate weight nothing heavy i chose 15 kilo dumbbells each hand because i have done enough amount of chest work i had good amount of pump they hit the right amount of fatigue so i wanted to finish off on a high note so four sets just enough weight controlled repetitions the tempo was controlled deep stretch complete push up full range of motion and you can see how my chest is doing the adduction as i push up the weight hold there for a second come down again feel the stretch in my chest muscle especially my upper and mid chest region and from there it's easy to do you can take a break up to 60 seconds one minute is fine because uh, this is the exercise which you are doing in the last you must be tired but otherwise if you're good to go please go ahead and complete the exercise quicker take shorter breaks maybe 30 or 45 seconds break that's up to you you might even need a two minute break that's also totally up to you but i think one minute should be fine enough if you take a weight which is not really heavy and that's it we're done for today we're going to finish off with a simple static stretch hold for 20 to 30 seconds i'm using a pvc pipe taking my arms behind my head while lying on a bench creating abduction so my arms moving away from the midline of my body behind my body basically stretching out my entire pec muscles so that's it we are done with the workout thank you so much for watching i'm sorry for the delay in post i'm a little bit caught up in my primary job i'll try to keep up the pace but there are few days i'm still going to be busy so yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching once again if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated thank you so much i'll see you in the next video meanwhile you have a great workout have a good day bye